Hey guys, Ryan here. Welcome back to another episode of Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. So right now we're heading to Master Roshi's. What's Master Roshi like? Well, he looks like a feeble old geezer, but he's super strong. Really? Oh, it's a real yep. shame he's kind of a massive pervert. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, he was my rival at the time, but now he's my best friend. Is Chris there you go. Strong? Just like you? Yeah. Seriously, out of all the guys I know, he's definitely up there. Yeah, he went to the, all the karate tournaments with us when Goku was younger. When she ran into me, and we ended up going on adventures together. If we hadn't done that, I probably wouldn't have met Master Roshi and the others. I see. Not too much longer until Master Roshi's place. Here we are. This is the first time Gohan is meeting Master Roshi, Krillin, Bulma. Guy. Meet my son. What? <laughs> your, your son? Yeah. Wild, huh? Well, wow, they must have you. not seen each other for a few years, then. Oh, uh, nice to meet you too. His name is Gohan. I know they changed the voice actress from for Bulma. You named him after your grandpa, huh? Yeah. Suits him, don't you think? Yeah, I think so. Alright, cool. We can talk to Gohan. So this is Kami House. There are all sorts of people here. I'm a little nervous. Let's talk to Krillin. Our old buddy. Goku. Have you been training lately? Oh, you know it. Well... Not as much as I want to. Chi Chi gets pretty angry if I train too much, you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, I haven't trained myself either. With Piccolo taken care of, things have been pretty quiet. Hey, you two, what are you talking about? Uh, uh, oh, nothing. Uh, nothing really. Hmm. I could have sworn you two were talking about how you've both been slacking off on your training. <sighs> Caught There's red handed. No you, is there, Master Roshi? It would seem you've both forgotten that training is a daily activity, not something you do only on special occasions. Right. Gotta work out, eat right. You should be moving, train learning, every day. Playing, eating, and resting every day. Oh, yeah, that's, that's, that's exactly what I just said. <laughs> I can't argue with you there. Now, to make sure you two never forget your daily training. I've got a little challenge for you. You'll walk the turtle school training manual. Come report back to me once you've finished your training. So we're gonna fight Krillin? Yes, sir, Master Roshi. Yes, sir, Master Roshi. Now, time to get back to my usual enjoyment. Alright, we got Master Roshi as a companion. You got adult community leader Master Roshi unlocked a new community board. Sweet. In this community, you can activate community skill as an aid in earning Zenny. Build up the community if you want to fill your pockets with extra cash. Alright. Venture to a blue pillar on the field or speak to a character with a blue icon above their head to initiate a sub story. Cleaning the substory will net you EXP, valuable items, and or soul emblems. Some substories can only be completed at certain times, so make sure to do them when you can. Substories can only be completed with certain characters. If you're having trouble completing a story, listen to the hints provided and change characters. So, that's gotta be this guy, the turtle. Yo. Hmm, what's going on with you? You seem pretty beat. Yes. Huh? Uh, oh, uh... Something's up. Are you hiding something? I, um... Dang, now that he went and hid my book again. Th that's Master Roshi's voice. I don't know what he's talking about. Right. He's gone. Oh, hey, Goku, have you seen that blasted turtle? Turtoise, yeah, but he ran off somewhere. Turtoise. Are you seriously still calling him that? You know that's not his name, right? But never mind that. What about my book? The, that pain in the, the butt hid my book somewhere. What kind of book is it? 
Is it really that special? I don't think it's something Goku should be looking at. Of course it's special. It's my most prized possession. If I don't have it, then I... I... Help find Master Roshi's book. Let's do it. Well, if it's really that important to you, I guess it could help you find it. Greetings. Really? That's mighty kind of you, Goku. Yeah. So what kind of book is it? It's uh, ahem, a swimsuit photograph collection. <sighs> Man, you haven't changed a bit, have you, Master Roshi? I'll search the attic. You look outside. Yeah. You got it. It's Goku. Talk to people and try and find All out. Right. What should I do now? To examine. Goku and Bulma help a lost turtle return to the sea. To show his gratitude, the turtle introduced the two of, of the turtle hermit, Master Roshi. Master Roshi rewards Goku with the flying nimbus and Bulma with the dragon ball that he wears around his neck. I think that's the first time they all met. At least that's the first time he's, uh, Master Roshi met Bulma. What? You mean that geezer's filthy book? Like, I would know. Well, uh... Then you would know where I can find turtles? Turtle turtles? If you're looking for tort or turtle, I saw him heading towards the back of the house. Let's go to talk to turtle. Sacred text of martial arts. So yeah, oh we can't go upstairs. I recently rewatched the original Karate Kid movie with Daniel and Miyagi. And hey. And then I also watched, oh, there's the turtle. Oh. The new one with Jin Smith and Jackie Chan. Mm. So where did you hide Master Roshi's book? It's Turtle, Goku. You should know that by now. I'm sorry, but I can't tell you where the book is. Master Roshi's read enough of that thing. He needs to learn some self-control. And that's why it belongs in the ground. The ground? Wait, he buried it somewhere? I think I can see where it is. Maybe it's here. So you find the photograph. So yeah, I recently watched both Karate Kid movies and apparently there was like four of the, the movies made back in the 80s. And then there was a new one made in 2010 with Jackie Chan. And I really like the scene in both of them where Jackie Chan and Mr. Miyagi save the kid <laughs> after he did a prank on Oh, right here, let's look. Looks like it's buried somewhere around there. Better get digging. <laughs> After he, he got revenge, basically, and they and they were chasing Daniel, and Miyagi saved the day. Found the girly book. Hey, I found your book, Master Roshi. Oh, you found it. You're the best, Goku. You handed over the item. I knew I was right to take you in as my student. <sighs> I'm counting on you to help me out with that troublesome turtle. Hides that. I'm counting you to help me out when that troublesome turtle hides this again. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Story complete. Up? That's our very first side mission complete. Sweet. Okay, let's talk to Krillin. All right. And get this main story mission going. Huh? Hey Goku, I know Master Roshi was talking about it before, but you know, training's pretty important, huh? You can't let it, all the strength I've gained just go to waste, so I'm planning on getting back into serious routine. So what are you saying is, do you want to fight me? You? Haha, <laughs> maybe some other time. I'm going to focus on some mental simul simula simulation training first. Mental simulation training? Oh, you mean when you do it in your head? You should try it sometime when you get a chance. You received a D-medal from Krillin. What's this? I guess you could call it a training keepsake. Oh, okay. The great thing about mental simulation training is you can do it anywhere you want. Like this beach, for example. Alright, I'm going to give it a try. And at the end of the Karate Kid movie, that was so epic when he did the, the crane kick and won the karate tournament. That was awesome. Try to learn consecutive energy blast. I think I'm gonna fight Tien. Uh, oh, Krillin, actually. For some reason, he's blue. He's like a Smurf.
and I started watching The Karate Kid 2, and apparently it's just as good as the first one. Whoa. To dodge an attack at close range, press X just as the attack is about to hit you to perform a step maneuver. Your opponent will enter a slow motion state, making it the perfect chance to launch your counter attack. Additionally, successfully dodging an attack will throw your attention gauge. Dodging will help you offensively, de defensively, and in terms of movement, so it's important to skill to master. He's gonna attack again. So yeah, I'll have to let you guys know what I think of the Karate Kid 2 after I watch it with my mom. Block that. You can guard against attacks by holding L2, even if you're taking damage from an attack. You start guarding right away and take it as little damage as possible. Guard for too long, however, and you'll eventually have your guard broken, leaving you defenseless for some time. Avoid this by alternating between stopping and guarding when on the, the defense in battle. Press square while guarding to send a nearby opponent flying. This is called a burst. Burst can cancel your opponent's action and make it, making it a great evasive maneuver in a pinch. Press X while guarding an attack to quickly maneuver behind your opponent and send them flying. This is called a banish attack. This uses up a lot of key, but it's a great way to launch a counter attack. Keep the pressure on your opponent by using burst at close range and vanish attacks at a distance. There we go. Starting to learn the controls here. All right, we've almost beat Krillin. There we go, finish. I wonder what rank we get. You earn consecutive energy blast. You learned consecutive energy blast. Already acquired. All right. That should be enough training for now. Maybe I'll talk with the guys just a bit longer. Talk to Krillin again. So he's got your looks, but does he have your power too? I'm betting that he's pretty strong if I had to guess. But I can't be sure since Chi Chi won't let me train him to find out one way or the other. So he's got your looks, but I'm betting that he's pretty strong if I had to guess. Let's continue the story. Chi Chi won't let me train him to find out one way or the other. Hey, Dad, what was that? Hmm, I'm not sure. Can he sense the power? The power level? I have a feeling it's pretty strong. Crash landing. What is it? It ain't no meteor. The guy has a straw hat like Luffy. There we have our Saiyan. Radix. Goku's long lost brother. Farmer has a gun. I don't think that's gonna do anything to Radix. Just as I thought, the creatures on this planet are still alive. Kakarot's failed us. Uh, who or what are you? A power level of only five? What trash. So he can sense power oh, levels with that device. Back. He caught the bullet. Oof. Is this the best this planet can muster? Well, now, here's a large power reading. 
Distance 4880. Kakarot. Either that or Piccolo. Yep, I see Piccolo from a distance. What in the world could that have been? I've never felt a power like this. Are we gonna have to fight Radix here? I think we are. Press L3 while flying to boost and fly at high speed. Boosting consumes key, so keep an eye on your key consumption as you boost. Your key will automatically recover when you stop boosting. By pressing L1 on the field or mid-flight, you can detect the key of nearby animals. Plants and other living things. Use the feature to find items, animals to hunt, dinosaurs, key items, food, training ground locations, and more. This is a great way to easily find a variety of far off things or something specific you're looking for. So use it when you can. While moving on the field, press L1 to search your surroundings for key and detect where the enemies are, how many there are, and where they're facing. Blue weaker than you, yellow just as strong as you, red stronger than you. Use L2 to enter a First person mode while on the view and press square to fire a key blast or hold the fire button down or hold the button to fire a charged key blast. If you hit an animal with the key blast, you'll stun it and make it easier to catch. You can hit terrain and other obstacles to collect materials. Try hitting a variety of things while on the field. You can find special wind tunnels called airways in every area. Traveling through airways is a great way to collect Z arbs. You can Enter one by touching either the entrance or any point along the tunnel. Once you're in, you'll automatically be carried through it by the wind. You can exit an airway with a boosted flight, but you won't be able to enter one while boosting. Phantom airways are, are rare airways that appear on the field. They not only contain more Z-Orbs than normal airways, but also rarer types of Z-Orbs and items. However, they will disappear once you leave the area. So if you find one, make sure to, t to ride it while you can. Not sure what this is. So let's collect all the orbs we can. It isn't Goku. Well now, this could be fun. I see it, they're red. I'll make quick work of you. This is a super attack. When you use the left stick during the attack to aim at your opponent and fire off key blasts, successfully targeting an opponent will deal extra damage. There are two types of this kind of attack. One in which you fire off multiple blasts as you move the cursor, and one in which you lock onto a target and fire a blast. The latter is probably useful if you favor accuracy or if your target is small and hard to hit. Tough guy. And this guy's from the Red Ribbon Army, I think. From what I remember from the first Dragon Ball show. I'm pretty sure I saw Launch down there. Oh, I see a dinosaur. Yeah, I'm really liking this game so far. It's fun. Let's talk to Launch. What do you want? I ain't in the greatest mood right now. I make one wrong turn and I end up driving the dang car all the, and all the treasure I stole off the cliff. I really screwed up this time. Where the hell could he be? This power is unlike anything I've ever felt before. I'm not seeing the car, so let's just go back up. Okay, there it is. Well now, this could be fun. I'm ready whenever you are. Let's oh, we got another guy. Let's take him out. There we go, took him down. 
try and get over there quick. We got Raditz. Yeah. So it wasn't Kakarot after all. Who the hell are you? I don't have time to waste with you. Wait a minute. This is a Namekian, isn't it? What the hell is a Namekian doing on this planet? If that's true, then what are you even doing here? You got a death wish? <laughs> You've got spunk. I like that. Hmm. A power level of 322, huh? You're definitely stronger than the others. But you wouldn't even be a warm-up for me. You're making a mistake in underestimating me. Are we gonna have to fight him? Let's see if you can make this fight for me. This guy. No way! This'll end it! Okay, let's try and beat Radix. I don't think it's a fight we can win, though. He's just twining with us right now. Blocked all those attacks, that was good. We'll have to see if we can actually take down Rise. He's definitely strong. He was in the red, which means the hardest enemy. is voiced by the same person who does a Vegeta, so that's kind of interesting. Yeah, Radis is tough. We're down on our last health bar. Oh wow, we did good. Level up. Did nothing to him. Is it my turn now? Time to show you what real power looks like. <clears throat> oh, he got lucky. He got saved. Power reading. That's got to be Kakarot. Indeed. Piccolo looks tired. Impossible. Probably give it everything he had, and it do it didn't do anything. Who the hell is this guy? Where is he going? We'll find out. Oh, there he is. He's coming in fast. <laughs> well, That's a laugh. Kakarot, you've grown. You look just like our old man. Bardock, I believe his name is. What? Tell me, Kakarot. What is this? You were supposed to exterminate all life on this planet. What have you been is that doing so? all this time? Huh? Making friends. Who are you? And who's getting married. Kakarot? Should I know who that is? You have got to be kidding me. You don't remember. Fine then. Allow me to refresh your memory. You're not from this filthy planet. You were born on planet Vegeta. You're a member of the proud and mighty warrior race, the Saiyans. And that's not all. 
I'm your older brother. Dun dun dun. Raditz. You're lying. That can't be true. Long ago, you were sent to this pathetic planet to rid it of all light. Yeah, as a child, he came here from Planet Vegeta. We say and search the universe for habitable planets and wipe out all who live there so that we can sell those planets to the highest bidder. We snot nose brats like you are sent to low level planets like this. And fortunately, it looks like this one's got a moon. <laughs> This guy's telling the truth, and these Saiyans are some real bad dudes. Wait. What about the moon? What does that have to do with anything? You're playing. I don't think he knows. When he transformed into that huge ape when he was a kid. We saw true power whenever there's a full moon. Even chumps like you should know that. Eh? I don't know what you're talking about. You know, I think Krillin's right. You guys are the worst. My name's Son Goku, and I'm from Earth. Take your lies and get out of here. <laughs> well, I couldn't even if I wanted to, because Planet Vegeta was blown to smithereens by a meteor. Almost all of our brethren have been turned to space dust now. Ugh. Including me and you, there are only four Saiyans left. Just the other day, we found a planet that should fetch us a high price. The three of us were going to have a hell of a time trying to overtake it. And that's when I remembered you. Oh, and us. The planet is as good as ours if you join us. Don't think that's going to happen. Come on, Kakarot. Think of the fun we'll have. Isn't your Saiyan blood boiling with excitement? Not exactly. Just shut up. If you think I'm joining you, then you're dumber than you look. Huh. Fine. Be that. Yeah, Radix sure needs a haircut. That little runt with the tail behind you is your kid, right? I guess I'll just take him instead. I wonder what he'd look like in Super Saiyan mode. With all that hair. Kind of like... It would kind of be like Super Saiyan 3. Back off! <laughs> oh yeah? Well go ahead if you think you can. Here we go. Gohan's not going anywhere with you. Uh, what the hell's with this guy? What's wrong? You scared? Let's protect Gohan and our friends. Send this guy somewhere else. We don't have it anymore. Uh oh. Huh. Like you would know. I like how they're like talking while they're like intense fighting going on. Just having like a casual conversation. There we go. Your kid's in real trouble if this is the Gave him our best. Do. Just like Piccolo. What? Oh yeah, we got S rank. Sweet. Oh, poor Goku. Oh, he's got Gohan. I don't, I don't know about that. Then you better do as your big brother said. Big bully. Don't even think about trying to be a hero. <laughs> you come back, you rabbits. No, no. Palma, you still got that dragon radar? Get it? That decoration on Gohan's hat was a dragon exactly. ball. Exactly. All right, I'm off. It's now or never. You might need some help there. Piccolo. 
Dun dun dun. Neither of us has what it takes to face him head on. At least if we tried on our own. Yeah, both tried fighting him on on their own and it didn't work out. We just might be able to take him. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Yeah. You're probably right. But can I really trust you? What's your angle in all this? Don't get the wrong idea. It isn't that I care in the slightest about your little kid or the earth. Is that so? That fool is the only thing standing between me and world domination. The moment he and his cronies are out of the picture. I finally rid myself of you. Then the world will be mine for the taking. World domination, huh? You're crazy if you think I'm about to let that happen. But for now, I guess we gotta join forces. Yup. Guess there's really no getting around that. Precisely. Oh, there's Shenron. S rank, heck yeah. For both. Got some rewards. Sweet. All right. Time to go. Hey. Wait, Goku, take this with you. You received the item. Vita drink. What's this? It's a quick acting recovery drink. If you're ever in a pinch, take a swig of that. Try setting a recovery item to your item palette. Okay, there we go. Thank you. Thanks, Bulma. You better not die on me. Hey. Enough, let's yeah. go. So we both fought Radix and I got an S rank on both, which is great. And now we're on our way to rescue Gohan and beat Radix. Here we go. After progressing to a certain point in the main story, you'll be able to travel with, with flight alongside other characters. Those support characters can assist you in a variety of ways in battle, so don't forget they're there to help. You can be a support character or perform a super attack assist in battle by holding R1 to the support palette and pressing the buttons. To use the attack set to the button afterward, the icon will darken and you will have to wait a while to use their attack again. Using a super attack assist will also fill the support gauge for that character. When support character's support gauge is half full, the character will automatically perform an assist and help you offensively, defensively, or in some other way. What type of assist that performs depends on the style they use. There are three main different styles. Additionally, the higher the character's friendship, the higher the capacity of the support gauge will be. Giving your support character gifts from the community option on the Stole Emblem screen will increase their friendship. Offensive support characters will prioritize attacking the opponent for over anything else. They will chase after opponents you've knocked away and perform super attacks in coordination with your own. Defense support characters will take actions to protect you during battle, including hindering enemy attacks and blocking enemy key blasts. Special support characters will restore your HP and key. They also have a slight chance of chasing after enemies or hindering their attacks like offensive and defensive types, respectively. You cannot travel to the other areas. You can move to other areas in the world map, accessing the world map by pressing triangle. Moving to the edge of the field or flying high in the sky, the following information is available on the world map. Materials, metals, dragon balls, substories. Alright, head toward Luka Village on the world map. I think that's a good pausing point. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, peace.